Y'all got a film of the feast, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into drama alert. Trump versus Swifties. Lana G still whining. Jessica drove 40 hours for nothing. <laughs> oh, uh, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a key key. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P., you can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get it. Hey creep, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? We got one more week, what you waiting on? It's almost October. When you blink your eye, it's gonna be a new year. Get that goal done. Get up, get the goal done, do what you need to do. And even if you don't, try. Do not end this year off without trying. But I ain't fussing with you. Give yourself a pat on the back because you're still here and you're still making it. Because I always tell y'all every week, you could have been dead and gone. Your name could be on somebody's tombstone. But guess what? You are here. Keep trying until you're six feet under because you can't try no more, okay? Now, can I say one thing? Y'all be on go when it comes to that Twitter post, hey, bitch. Baby, I posted. I said, oh, okay, I'm going to have time to refresh. I refresh. I'm like, God damn. So let me go ahead and <laughs> shout out to my friend, and that is Fine Ass J. Hey, bitch. Fine Ass J, to be honest, girl, I don't even know if you was, <laughs> if you was the first. <laughs> I just said, hands up, don't shoot. But your name was the first one. So, I, girl, we going to just say that, all right? Thank you for having my post notifications on along with the other hundreds and thousands of people. But you were the first to come up on my timeline and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for being so supportive of me. Thank you for loving me. I love you, friend. If all of you can go over there and show her some love, follow each other, retweet each other, like each other's posts, because we are a Navy, and what a Navy does is we stick together and we build each other up. Because if we don't support each other, then who the fuck else will, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, friend, and forever and always, you'll be my bitch. Hey, bitch. All right. Now that we got that out the way, let's go on and get into y'all's favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Lute. Y'all, every time we turn around, it is something, and I am tired of turning around. Please <laughs> pray for Tay. We will be updating you as more information becomes available, bitch. Go to fucking hell! We don't give a fuck! Last time we prayed for you, I got returned to sender. I ain't doing it again. God said he tired, I'm tired, we all tired. You die every three years. You ain't tired of dying? Pray for you. No, pray for me. Pray for your damn self. We got other shit we need to be praying for. We tired of wasting it on you. We got devastating news regarding Lil Tay. Well, bitch, I'm sorry. Then they gonna come back and say Tay is currently in ICU with a serious condition. <laughs> Bitch, they better work it out. <laughs> what For you real, want me to though. do about it? And God, I'm sorry. If this is Last time Lil Tay came out, she was like, girl, he lying. It's like... Uh, I thought you was seriously injured or unalive. Where are you coming from? Girl, that was crazy. I don't know what the hell be going on with these people. It's real. Please forgive us. But we tired of getting played with. Then turn around and call us broke. So now I'm like, if I don't see her in the hospital, then I'm not believing it. The girl don't play on our top too many times. So now they post up this. Talking about she has an emergency surgery for some heart failure. I said, oh, girl, you know the fuck what. And not only that, they come and show this girl in the hospital after she has surgery. Why don't y'all ever show us her when she doing good? It's always when she about to die or when she dead. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't believing shit because if Costa not can sit here and blow up his whole house, then baby, that hospital room ain't real. Uh -huh. I am not falling for it. Catch it. I'm sorry. It's just not believable. And I'm not going to feel bad because y'all got us to this point. If y'all was not playing on people's time who actually really care for the girl, now when it's time to care and nobody cares, you can't blame us but yourself. So y'all better get on all your knees and pray all you can because child mind ain't going up. And if y'all goes up, 
I hope the blessings come down. Then they come and they say that the open heart surgery was a great success. Thank y'all for everything. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yada, yada, yada. Honey, y'all do what y'all must. Y'all ain't gonna stress me out about no lying ass little girl and her family. Child, <laughs> thank God she good. I hope she good and may she stay good. All right. If it ain't about me, let's keep eating these cakes. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Caribou. Well, Caribou took to her live and this is what she had to say. I'm being silent. I'm being silenced three months. And like, I ain't gonna oh. lie, lips like that stress me out, y'all. I'm not even, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Does that bother y'all? Does it be like a deep little dip down in the, a deep dip down here? type of lips really stress me out. Ooh. Be, ooh. It's two stories. The truth and cap. Two sides of the story. The <laughs> truth and cap. Ah. Whoa. Which story y'all think I'm gonna tell? The fuck? <laughs> okay, Don, okay. I'm not gonna do it. My best friend's on here saying don't do it. Fuck it. I was just joking, y'all, bar. Okay, so my point is, if you're being silenced, then why aren't you silent? It's September. <laughs> you should have talked when you had the time to talk. Oh <laughs> no, you was running around talking about some. Just leave me alone. You and your team stop bullying me. And after three months, then we sure don't want to hear what the fuck you got to say. And what the fuck is you chewing on? <laughs> I'm not being silenced. I can't say nothing. Shit done pissed me off. She already talking slow. I'm like, God damn. Do y'all get what I'm saying? <laughs> I wasn't the I only was one. Drum, had that two times speed up shit. She's saying <laughs> shit, but ain't saying nothing. Her top lip is Caucasian. Her bottom lip is African American. <laughs> Friend, let me tell you what you do. Bring your ass here. Come here. Come on. Go to your corner. Go to your corner. <laughs> I'm talking about that was so good. <laughs> <You know. laughs> but she can't say nothing. Joe don't want to hear what the fuck you got to say. And what the fuck is you chewing on? What <laughs> I mean, silence. I can't say nothing. She done pissed me off. She already talking slow. I'm like, God damn, I wish Instagram had that two times speed up shit. She okay. saying shit, but ain't saying nothing. But she damn sure is chewing. I want to grab in her fucking mouth and pull that shit out. <laughs> Swallow the gum and try it. I wanted to take that top lip and twist it, friend. You either. Ah! Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm 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 fine. Girl! And then all that fucking giggling. I don't want to hear shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fuck it and fuck her and fuck the situation. <laughs> Not fuck her. I'm sorry. It was the gum. It pissed me off. <laughs> Immediately how yeah. I felt about that lip. <laughs> That was silent. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't about me, please stay silent for the whole three. Next case. Next one is Sugar Honey Ice Tea. We have Carmen and Big Boogie. Now, a lot of y'all are running around here saying, oh my God, I live for Carmen and Big Boogie. He loves her so much and this is good for her and woo woo woo, yada 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 yada. Yeah, you are happy when you have been healed and you're just moving around trying to find that happiness. Cause one thing about it, if you ain't got divorced yet, you need to be sitting the fuck down, getting that done. I ain't saying you can't date, but get that divorce and then do your thing. Let's unpack it and let's talk about it. Now y'all remember when Corey and Carmen had broke up that second time, whatever the case may be, they got back together and she made that post back in 2022. She was like, the only way I'm turning my back on him is from back shot. Guess who reposted it and said she bad? Big Boogie. Now come on y'all, so you got back with Corey and Big Boogie already in the picture back in 2022. I don't think he was in the picture, but he definitely was shooting his shot. 
Definitely. 2024. So that means Boogie been around. Boogie. Now remember when Corey was like, Carmen ain't all innocent and he ain't all innocent. Who knows what's been going on with Carmen and Big Boogie back in the day. Baby, I'm not gonna tell you all you clown ass in it. I'm like, nah, I know you. Y'all niggas don't know that. But this shit was a joke. <laughs> these niggas did the way so many. And I ain't gonna say nothing. But a lot of these niggas, y'all niggas lame And y'all niggas, y'all niggas not solid. And I'm glad that I'm a solid ass nigga to see that you niggas not solid. That's why y'all not gonna see me around a lot of these. Does Bo does Boogie have to be solid to Corey when he don't know him? Like he ain't your friend. So if he wanna holler at your woman, he can. You ass niggas, y'all boys, man, straight up. Every last one of them. They ain't did what I done yet. Y'all niggas be like, man, they ain't did what I done yet. So I don't think you gonna come and touch what I touch. It don't make sense. So has Carmen been sneaking and creeping this whole time? So now everybody's excited. She's been seen on stage with Big Boogie. She's been doing her thing. But to some, they're like, well, damn, this man don't even respect her. Look at how he's giving her back shots on stage and this and that. Now, I'm just like, I'd rather be me than some other girl dancing on my man. But I get what people are saying. If you're going to respect her, respect her to the fullest. And, you know, bring up the like, yeah, I'm glad I'm You ain't got to do all that in front of people. That's stuff for the bedroom. But hey, it's a new generation. Y'all do y'all things different. But I'm going to tell y'all right now, I would not be traveling all around the world letting Boogie hunt me. I wouldn't. Mm -mm. And I know y'all want to have revenge and you know what I'm saying, like, and stuff. But Boogie would not be humping me every city and every state. And I, quite frankly, I just... Ooh, I just feel as though she got stuff to do. She got YouTube videos to make. She got money to make. I ain't got time for you to be humping me everywhere I go. Okay? So, you don't want that essential pumping you on stage? No. I don't want an essential pumping me ever. But I absolutely wouldn't want an essential pumping me in front of everybody. All in it. No! Pump me when we in the bed. Pump me if we at the gas pump. Pump me if we randomly fucking on the beach. Why do we have to get dry humped at a crime? I know. I don't feel like it. <laughs> Ump someone else. <laughs> okay? I just. If we're going to be real, I feel Corman is just bringing herself into more mess. I'm not saying the man ain't messing with his baby mama or ex-girlfriend, whatever the case may be, but it just seems like a whole lot of whole lot of is going on. There's too many moving pieces. It's just a whole lot. You ain't even healed in this. It's... Have your fun. I'm not falling for the smoking firecrackers that everybody else is falling for. I think this is just a social media relationship. Car Carmen been booked in his cities too. Now see, that's a different conversation. Well, hump me then, baby. Hump me. Hump did dump. Oh, my fault. I was unaware. Disregard everything I've said. I think she's making his career look good because, I mean, people love Big Boogie, but people love Carmen. And he knows having Carmen on his side, that's keeping him in the forefront, his music out there, Carmen's right there. It's just... It gives me social media relationship. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie to him. I just hope she ain't giving him her check. I really, really hope and I really, really pray that she's getting humped. But respectfully. And, and another thing, to whoever's stealing my goddamn content and putting it on talk, TikTok, at least have a respectful title. Out here starting shit with people. I don't like y'all titles. I get you gonna steal it, but have a better title than that. Look at y'all ass. Motherfucker fine. Big boogie fine to me. Some of y'all think he ugly. He's fine. I think Corbin did a good goddamn job. I know that dick hanging. I know it's hanging. But God knows, you know, Big Boogie is mixed with a turtle and a sloth. 
white fragrance. Um, I know some of y'all like that. I know some of y'all like that. I know he is giving Ascension all over the place. Do you be just swinging Ascension? Wake up in the morning swinging Ascension. And late in the evening swinging Ascension. Uh, coming out the bathroom swinging Ascension. Uh, uh, lunchtime swinging Ascension. Going to get something to eat swinging Ascension. Okay? But that nigga is a turtle of sloth. Okay? That what he is. He's a walking turtle sloth, okay? <clears throat> Just a, uh, yeah, he a cute, ugly nigga for sure. <laughs> I can't get with the mechanic voice. It's just a lot. But! <laughs> Is it worth getting heartbroken again? I don't know. I mean, I'm 50-50. I do believe that they are happy, but I do feel Carmen might like him a little bit more than he likes her. I wish them the best though, because Carmen does deserve happiness because she's done dealt with bullshit for so long. I just wish she would have sat down, took time on herself before she moved into something else. Cause Boogie used to do skits with them Instagrammers and YouTube people, so I know he know Corey and I, like they always say, how you get him is how you lose him. If she was fucking with him behind Corey back, she gonna lose him the same way. Another girl gonna come in and creep and take. Girl. Catch it! If it ain't about me, <laughs> let's keep getting this case. Next for the Sugar Honey Iced Tea, we have El Chopper and Mariah. Now, baby, I will say this. I did not see this coming because, child, if you know what they have been through, this is big. But back in April, Emily did say that he was going to work on himself and co-parenting to be a better parent. So, child, the girl saw him up under Mariah's post where she was like, who let me back outside? He said, baby mama, I love you so much. She said, I love you so much more. And I'm just like, wait a fucking minute. This the same nigga who shot her house up? And they was in that domestic relationship. I oh, this the first baby mama. Niggas gonna always go back to that baby mama coochie. Mm -mm -mm. And y'all just let they stupid ass right back in. Open legs. Just, hey, baby daddy. But y'all stupid ass. Girl. Oh, you fucking ass. But I guess people grow. I don't know, but baby. And then y'all in the comments talking about some, oh, this is so cute. I love it. How the fuck you go from bullets flying to peace and happiness? <laughs> you got me fucked up. Oh, the growth. What? From a comment? <laughs> Child, please. Girl, let me go call my ex. I love you so much. <laughs> After you threw my head against the refrigerator, <laughs> knocked my teeth down my throat, and kicked me in the back of my head. But I love you so much. I mean, you got me fucked up. <laughs> okay. And, no! Uh-uh. I don't want it. My man shoot my house up? <laughs> I do not want it. Fuck you and that love. To me, <laughs> Is giving. Thank you for keeping all my secrets. And the gag is, he was just gagging because she was outside. Miss Thang was outside doing her big one. But the word on the curve is the people are saying that now the son got to go through what the daughter went through until Anna Lee Chopper want to grow up and let that shit go with uh, the other girl. Are they even talking them all? Because Marissa, wasn't she the one crying? I'm not laughing. <coughs> crying over that young man. Now her pain. But once she didn't want to cry because he said he didn't want to be in a relationship because he didn't want to settle down with nobody and she thought he was going to settle down. You know the fuck what? You done told this woman all that just to go back and tell your first baby mama that you love her. That's why they always say when a man got a baby mama, stay away from him because they can never get over that first baby mama. Ah. Get it out of my face. And then he just told the other baby mama, I need, to, I need time to mess around. I'm young. Well, you knew you was young when you skied up in her ass. And let's not get it twisted. He's still going to mess around and they still going to have the same problem and they still going to be going through the same shit. It's just that baby mama done got fine on his ass. And now he trying to remember what was or what could have been. What should have been. Okay. That girl don't lie crying like that. Then you done left this one to go to this one. Then you done left that one to go back to that one. But then you out here trying to get all uh, up. Uh, What's her name? Glow, sexy, whoever he trying. You don't know the fuck. Girl, what? everybody. They say when you go gay, you become friends with all your baby mamas. 
There they go. Catch it! I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. All right. So, <laughs> if it ain't about me, Italy Chopper, you gonna go over there and love the other baby mommy. <laughs> Next case. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Alexis. Now, for those who do not know, Alexis is known on Instagram for her antics. <laughs> Miss Mama be doing some crazy stuff. Now, she's a well-known transgender. She's also on an app called Big O. Now, the tea is she was turning a date. The date came to her room. She gave him a little munch, you know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. Everything was good. By the time she was coming down the steps, she walking with her friend. I guess the date friend saw her. The date friend done told the date that she is transgender, which everybody already knows she's transgender. I guess the date got embarrassed. And he done found Miss Alexis and shot at her. What? Oh, Alexis. Oh my God, baby. It's gonna be okay. Wait, <laughs> let me hear that again. I already know she's transgender. I guess the date got embarrassed. And he done went to with her. By the time she was coming down the steps, she walking with her friend. I guess the date friend saw her. The date friend done told the date that she is transgender, which everybody already knows she's transgender. I guess the date got embarrassed. And he done found Miss Alexis and shot at her. That's crazy. Oh my God, baby. It's gonna be okay. Child, it's a whole lot, a whole lot of. So then Dre Baby had told her a couple of days prior or sometime prior, like, look, leave them turning tricks alone. It is not safe out there. These men is killing these trans women, whatever the case may be. Girls are working mega personal. Girl, you know how much, do you know how quick a, a nigga will get you off a of mega? What's a mega? Girl, you can get set up like this, bitch. Omega must be the app. No shade, girl. Get out the fucking game, Alexis. You are a femme queen, and you hear me come. Let me finish. She didn't want to listen. She thought it was a joke, and child, it brings us all the tears. Basically, he said he wanted a date. I, I ended up, he was like, coming in his room. He gave me $100. I ended up, you know, giving him head. So, we walking across the street. So, they pulled next to us. They it's me not saying nothing because it's regular these days. He gave me $100, so I gave him some head. <laughs> Bitch, you be like, okay, and what happened next, friend? We so... <laughs> we so used to this fucking... <sighs> we are a toxic... Uh, uh, what you call it? Generation, girl. I'm talking about, it was so regular just now. He gave me $100, so I just gave him some head, right? Right! <laughs> uh-huh! And what happened to you? Okay? Girl! <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. They put next to us. So me not knowing, me not knowing that that's the boy, I guess his homeboy told him my tea. I guess his homeboy told him my tea or something. And me not knowing that the boy who I just dated was in the driver's seat. He get out the car, he like, you a man, you a man. Cause I guess his homeboy told him my tea and I guess he felt played cause he had just came out the room and I had sucked his dick. So he like, you a man, you a man. Bitch, I'm like, I'm like, mind you, like we in front of fucking hoax like, it's hotels out on the little strip, so I'm just like, I'm like, I'm like, it's like, I don't, in a moment, I'm like, what the fuck, like my home, I'm I'm just in front of him. He got a big ass gun in his, like, in his pocket, so all I remember is like my home, they're like, chill out, chill out, chill out, like, she's not on me, and all I remember him was like, he was like, he kept asking me if you're a man, I'm like, no, I'm not no man, and shit like that, he, he like rubbing between my legs, I had my mouth. What you call it? Tuck. So he didn't put nothing. So I guess he grabbed a little hard. He kept saying, You a man, like you a man. So all I remember was him like pistol whipping me. He pistol whipped me right here twice in my head, like boom, boom. So I kinda like blacked out. Like like I felt like I didn't fall, but like when he hit the fuck out of me twice with that gun, like I like I'm like, what the fuck? So like all I remember, like all I know is like my wig flew off my head, my purse fell. And like all I remember was him shooting at me the first time. That's when the, the first time, that's when a bullet hit me. And when he hit me with the first bullet, my, my, the back of my thigh, it busted open. Like, 
Y'all know I got a big thigh. So when he shot me, all my like all my meat came out. So now I have a big ass hole in the back of my thigh. So after he shot me that first time, he kept shooting at me, but he missed because I ran off. So once I ran off, he ended up getting in his car and he drove off. And then I just remember, like, I'm just crying. Like, I got a big ass hole in my leg. Blood just everywhere. Blood just everywhere. I'm just sitting there screaming, crying. Everybody outside. So then that's when, the, that's when the paramedics came. They strapped me up. And then, like, they was like, let's start moving because I was losing consciousness. Like, I was, like, I was, I was losing consciousness, which. So I ended up getting to the hospital. I ended up getting to the hospital. They had to pour some stuff on me. They had to pour some stuff on me because I had a I have a hole in my thigh. So they had to pour something in to clean out the infection, and then they they numbed it up, and then they stitched me up and they closed me up. <laughs> anybody people are saying that she should have told the guy that she was transgender now baby i know for a fact that man knew she was transgender you can hear it in her voice she said that that's the way she i was. agree i agree a hundred thousand percent however first of all getting pressed like that i wouldn't have been like yeah i'm a man nigga you know what i'm saying i would have you never know what you would do in that moment, I'm sure. Um, she was nervous. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and you ain't got no gun. I don't even understand how they be out here, you know, doing it to people. <laughs> Sucking people for $100. And not having a gun. Girl, I'm talking sucking by the Glock. Just Glock with me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just no way in hell. I'm not, I don't understand the, um, why they don't protect themselves like that. I don't, I don't understand. Um, I don't get it. We're talking when she met him, oh baby, he knew. He knew what the thing was. He was embarrassed that his friend clock team and so he had to go make himself feel better but the thing is how your friend do the tea if she in them apartments or them hotels whatever they in and she turning tricks then your friend had got a trick turned on him too and that's how he knew your tea girl y'all gotta stop letting girl y'all better stop playing with these insecure men who don't want people to find out shit because then it's gonna end up like this she just lucky she didn't pass away i was trying to see the shot of her leg because i know miss uh alexis be pulling stunts on the instagrams and she be saying stuff having like a little tag but i want to see the leg i i'm not saying i don't believe her but i'm saying it's hard to believe because she be doing stunts but if this really did happen to her, I just hope and pray that Miss Dean learn from this and she get out of that and leave that stuff alone because it is not safe, honey. Your <laughs> life is not worth no $100 and some head. No. No, I am. Do better. All right. Yeah. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next for the Sugar Honey Iced Tea, we have Huncho and his G. Now, Man, I was in this live, and at the time I was in the live, I was like, okay, this gotta be fake. They trolling for the internet. I'm like, what's going on? So when I did my digging, I found out this is the G. So, Heavy G was trolling Huncho on Instagram and everything about him and Keisha Cole, about their relationship and stuff like that. You know, just popping it. You know how niggas pop with each other. And Huncho wasn't going for it. He was like, you know what? I'm not here for the games and the jokes. You know, I'm grown. I ain't on that bullshit. So they was just trolling and trolling and trolling and Huncho ain't saying shit. So Heavy G said that he tried to talk to Huncho about the whole situation. Like, is it beef? Is there something going on? What's up? And he said that Huncho wasn't responding to him. So they was at the show. And when they was at this show recently, Heavy G goes up to Huncho to speak about it. Huncho ain't trying to talk. See, everybody ain't about these jokes and games and want to hee hee and ha ha and cackle for the internet. You know what I'm saying? At DTG. She found out the same way. You know what I'm saying? From the sheep. Whatever the case may be, Heavy G found out the same way too. So, child, when he go up to Huncho to talk to him and figure out the situation, Huncho said, ain't no talking. Rock! And then, girl, everybody take loose. There's everybody fighting. They just flip oh, and fuck damn. and everything like that. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Okay. 
You two like to play with me. I can't even do it, y'all. The Huncho said that his crew took the boy shoe. The boy was on live. Said that one his shoe he had on slide. Nigga, you a motherfucker. So when I looked at that video, that was your shoe that Huncho pulled up on that eye. That was your shoe, Heavy G. But everybody else said that Heavy G got some pull in uh, St. Louis. And they said that he got some shooters. And they said he's the wrong one to fuck with. So I don't know how this gonna go. Because they say Heavy G got some people who will call me and get Huncho. But Heavy G said Huncho left up out of um, St. Louis. Because he knew what the fuck was going on. But um, Huncho said he didn't leave up out of St. Louis. He said that was still there. So, honey, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he's scared. They're scared. Who's scared? What's scared? But I'm scared for what's going to happen to anybody. <laughs> did this shit just start last you know night? Yes or Did this shit just start last look, night? Yes or no? Look. Look, did this shit look. just start last night, yes or no? Nah. Exactly. Clearly couldn't have. Exactly. exactly. Le what, what last exactly. night my first time ever seen? Exactly. What did, last night, what did you do? What did you do? I'm saying, what was last night my nigga, first I told time you, ever I told seen? you when I seen you what I was going to do. You man. never told me man, nothing, I, gang. You was I telling everybody you, else. Me, nigga. I told That's why I, I DM'd you and you never yeah, said nigga, nothing. Exactly. I DM'd you, you like the message. I ain't going to say nothing, nigga. You know what it sounds like. I asked you what was to you. What's up? Because you going to everybody else saying what you going to do to me. Did he say I asked you what was T? I ain't going to. But nobody, I did what I did to you, nigga. How you did you, bro? How I got word of what you, how you felt about me, nigga? Right, you, you, you saying it, nigga. When you looked at me and said, "What's up, nigga?" I ain't say shit back, nigga. You knew I was on demon. Did you, did you not? Did you, uh, did you not come up to me apologizing to me, nigga? Yes or no? For, what am I apologizing for? Put this on. Put this on. on something you ain't. You what? You ain't come up to me apologizing, nigga. nigga. On you, nigga. Fuck yeah, you, yeah, talking you, about? yeah. You don't yeah. put it on me. <laughs> you was a hot don't put it on me. I ain't come. You apologize. I didn't even do shit, some, good. Come on, I'm up. Yeah, that, that's exactly what you were saying last night. I ain't even do shit. But you just said this Where shit been started. How you ain't do shit? No, this I, shit, man, I been knew you had some type of animosity okay. with me. I didn't know okay. when it was over. Man, right. you're not telling so, nobody so, when it's over. You just so you, like, you ain't, so you ain't do shit. You ain't do shit. I'm not used what to you, shit like that. What you think? What you think? I'm gonna DM you back and argue with you, nigga. My you don't gotta argue. You you just let me No, the thing is, I've heard from four different people that you got some animosity towards me. For I'm trying what? So when you think me, why was you not ready if you heard from four different people? No, when I when I heard that, I I DM'd you and said what to you, and you didn't say nothing. No, if you if you heard, I got animosity with you. Why would you not be on point when you see me? Cause that's dumb. You walk to a nigga face and try to talk to a nigga who got in a No, you called me over. You said come here. I didn't walk to you, nigga. And what you did when I thought you was over? When I said come here, what you did? You walked over. Right? You like quit lying? Like I just. I don't know what the hell going on here. Like I was in Lolly Gang, I was up on your school shit. If I'm telling you come here, you know I got my. You talking to me like we finna clear this shit up? All right, listen. If I'm telling you come here, and I got animosity with you, you think I'm finna talk to you and give you a hug? What you think I'm finna do? But what you just talking about? You just I'm saying, no, because you called me and said, come here, you start talking to me. That was talking like very normal and cool. You think I'm a singer? You is a singer. Yeah, you right. ain't a rapper. Yeah, I, I really didn't even want to punch your ass on God. What you wanted to do? You know what's up. Why you didn't? You could have been said that. You know Let that be known, gang. You know what's up. You said you had to wait to take your jury off and I all that shit. I didn't do that. I wasn't even peeping all that going on. I didn't do nothing. I'm saying, I definitely hear confusion as well. It sounds like to me, y'all like each other. Like, y'all, they cool with each other for real. It sounds like they playing. <laughs> you, first you know, punch. you know, you first did. Punch, you went out. You punch, then you punch. First, you didn't even say what time when you had me first, over there talking to you like we having a regular conversation. Man, and you sneak first, me. First punch. That don't even I, count. You were standing you in my face. I sneak you. You nigga said that don't even count. Call me. So me. Did you or you. did you not call me to your face? Exactly. You was in my face. You did I you or did you face. not call me over there though? Yes. I dropped your bitch ass. Man, get your oh. faking ass off. You get called me over there like we having exactly. a real conversation. Exactly. Listen, it's the next RBC? morning. Shut your bitch Listen. ass up. Where bro was it? Was that? Shut was your that bitch ass up. Was that R&B singing? bitch ass jumping ass. Was that, sneak this. You was, was that sneaking that ass. Was that R Listen, was that R&B singing when I dropped your ass last night? Yes or no? When I, before you did, when you was on when stage, I, yes, I, yes I, you were. Fuck you. I'm gonna catch up with you, but we gonna get our ones though. I ain't trying to do no violence. Ooh, that just made Huncho look good. He's so, ooh, he's that on business. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, Keisha. I see what you see, girl. Okay, it's just something about them Atlanta niggas, baby. They ain't never scared of a thing. If it ain't about me. Oh my Let's God. Y'all hey. felt like that was so fine. Even my like Huncho was so fine. Let me go back and look. Be first, over there talking to you like we having a regular conversation. Man, and first, you sneak first, me. First punch don't even count. You were standing you in my face. I sneak you. You called you me. Talking to me. Did you or you. did you not call me to your face? Exactly. You was in my face. You did. 
You would did you not call me over there so though? Bad. Oh my god, my pussy so bad. Like it wasn't <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. <laughs> Let's get into this mess. First of all, okay, we have Lena, Lena, whatever, child, hush. That's what's gonna help you <laughs> every day, every week. I mean, I be coming on Mr. Money like, God damn, all again. <laughs> you say you get tired, we get tired. <laughs> we get tired of, hey, I don't know what's going on. I just come back to the social media to say that. I don't know why you guys are talking about me. That's the fucking reason why you just both shut up. This is just a PSA because it really just been irking my soul. Oh my god! People really be like bullying me, bullying us. They're not bullying y'all. They're bullying you. <laughs> you. That's who they're bullying. And I just want to say this: I'm not one of those type of people that just get on social media and start bullying people. I've never just got on social media and started calling people out of their name. I've never got oh, on social okay. media and started being just mean to people. I'm not that type of person. But if you're constantly like like antagonizing people and bullying people and commenting on situations that you don't know about, like you cannot expect for somebody not to say anything. Whether it's an influencer, the biggest celebrity you know, your mother, your dad, anybody. Like if you're constantly antagonizing people. I don't know why she think her words are helping y'all. I really don't. Like they're gonna snap back. They're going to say something. And especially if you're being really, really disrespectful, you're out of pocket, you guys are constantly trolling. Like it's inevitable for a human being not to say something back. And I just feel like we have to, there's just so much stuff that goes on three years. If it's not one thing, it's another, literally. You can't win in this situation at all. It's like the most craziest thing because this like, That's I don't know. Even just more of a reason to shut up. <laughs> I, I agree with Zoe hundred percent. I think she makes it way worse. I wouldn't say Nathaniel, fuck all y'all. How people be on social media. I'm like, how can you even let words like that come out your mouth? Like people, I'm telling you, y'all are not in my shoes to know what it's like to deal with the stuff that I deal with. I swear we don't care. We don't care. We don't care. <laughs> to read the stuff that I read, to get the messages that I receive. Um. So yes, if I snap on people and if I come out of pocket, you brought me there. You took that out of me. Let me give you some advice. There was some word on the curb. Somebody said, why y'all let Neek be happy, but y'all won't let King be happy. They let Neek be happy because Dwayne don't say shit. He, he don't. don't get involved he with don't. nothing that is dealing with Neek. King and they son. He don't come on live. One thing I've noticed, because DDG said it the other day on his podcast, the only way you could truly get canceled is if you let it get to you. That's the only way. Now, one point in my life, um, when, you know, all that shit was going on with me, it was some truth up in that. So I was just honestly looking at what she was saying and looking at myself like, oh my God, you... Dirty person, you. Okay. So I was so aggravated at the fact that whatever the truth that was coming out, oh my God, this, that's me, right? And ill. You know how you, you will be like, I mean, damn, I know I don't look good today, but you ain't got to say it like that. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that. Bro, if you ain't did shit and like, you, you handle your business, you know what you're supposed to do. Girl, none of this matters. It really does not. <laughs> it does not. Now, when people, some situations are so different, people get the making up shit and shit like that, I get it. But when it comes to King and what he has to go through, he handles it way better than her. But, my nigga, they say more about King and, and how he is treating Kaiser and things like that, which has nothing to do with you. What she don't like is how they saying she treats Kaiser, and I feel like she's guilty, okay? The love that you feel like you giving him and all of that, people see that. You're not. Like, you are not getting stepmother of the year. And I don't know if you're trying to, but I, Dwayne is winning. <laughs> Dwayne is up 10,000 points, okay? King outside being a ninja. Girl, he just... um. Today, he just, uh, I forgot, international champion or whatever. Like, he been working. We see that. Okay? 
honey, he has every reason to go be a man and go do what he needs to do or what he feels he needs to do to um, better himself for his family. I feel like that's fine. You got to work on being a better stepmom. Then maybe you will feel better about yourself and not come on here talking about nothing. Honestly, why I, I feel this, it should be that. You shouldn't have said this. Can y'all just be quiet and let me do that? Can y'all just shut up and let to me be do honest, that? To be honest, I don't think up. so. I don't think King wake up and be like, I'm about to goddamn read the comments. Some people really do that. Like they wake up and look at the comments that be, that's being said about them. Let me tell y'all something. When I was going through my little debacle, girl, I seen Royce's World, Royce's World, Royce's World all up and through my timeline. I wasn't watching none of them videos, okay? Now, when it got to the point for some videos that I, well, not some, I reacted to a couple people who said something about me. I did not like how they brought up the version of myself that I felt as though I've worked on and that shit right there will offend you while you're still working on it. If that makes any sense. Like it's nothing y'all could tell me today about who I was when I was that. It's ain't shit y'all could tell me about who I was yesterday. Okay. So say what you want to say about me. That's cute. <laughs> but I know who I am. I know what I offer. I know I, I, I'm the under the table. Okay. I don't have to bring the things on the table because I have to put my table down first. Then I bring the things to put on the table. So I ain't perfect, but damn it. Uh, I'm a great person. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can ever take that from me. So if King feels as though he's a great father, nobody can ever take that from him. If she feels as though she's a great stepmother, nobody can ever take that from her. But if you don't feel it, well, you're going to get the responding every day. Don't get me wrong. She has every right to defend herself. But every day, it's like, I wouldn't even have that much energy to, to do that. Fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and yeah, that's just how I feel about that. He don't do that. But oh, Miss Lena Lena. Here she come. Well, I feel that... She can say what he wants to say, and he's being a great father, and he does this, and her parents are just right. Whooping. Oh my God, why are y'all attacking us? I don't understand why y'all attacking us. All he did was take up for his son, and he had his son. He... Bitch, that's why. That is not your child. That is not your child. I don't give a and, uh, and she reminds us that, reminds us of that every chance she get, I feel like. Why are y'all taking family pictures? I don't feel as though she pushed him. But I do feel as though she was trying to guide him into an area where she was comfortable, trying to be comfortable for him to be in an aggressive manner. Now, do I feel like you was like, bitch, move. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. But sometimes kids be in your way. Man going to be in my way all the time. Every chance I get, move. Go, move. I'm away. I'm walking. Mango stands there. Mango, what the fuck? Why are you standing? Move. Get the fuck out my way. You know what I'm saying? So she may not do that with her daughters. I don't. Of course, we don't see it, but we damn sure see it with him. Now, he's a little boy. This is her first time uh, becoming a parent. And most people <clears throat> can parent their own children, not other people's children. Okay? And I feel as though she's just not the best with parents and other people's children, which would be her man's son. I don't give a damn if you're married to daddy. I don't give a damn if you're fucking to daddy. That is not your child. Shut up. You and him can talk about it behind the scenes, or y'all can voice it when y'all talking to her behind the scenes, but to get on that camera, set it up, and bring their issues out your mouth is fucked up. Shut up, they gon' attack you every time, sis. Every fucking time. Yes, it's a part of your life now, but let them handle that. If him and me go back and forth, that is between them. That's when you pull him to the side and say, King, hush. But you can't do it. You gotta talk about everything, respond to everything, speak on everything, cry about everything, fight everything.
Y'all, I upload videos and I slide. Upload. Upload. Uh, upload. <sighs> what am I about to eat? <laughs> I'm not. Bro, I'm not <clears throat> about to go through none of that. I don't care either. Say what you want. Baby, I know how to censor words. <clears throat> I know how to censor names. I know how to censor whatever it is I feel I need to to not mess with my mental health. And I keep it moving. <clears throat> that nigga little baby said, I know they be hating on me, but I don't read comments. Most celebrities do not read comments, but the ones that wake up every day to read what, what they saying about them, it's some truth to that shit. All okay? right. It's some truth. Ain't no way I'm waking up every day to see y'all talk about me. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Everything. And do you not know that a lot of these people are children? You getting bullied by children. Lena, 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 Lena. We don't want you here in October, November, or December. We'll see you in January, okay? Hopefully not then. Let's see if you can last that long. I watch. If it ain't about me, let's kick in this case. Next on the docket, we have Donald Trump versus Taylor Swift. Now, I never in a million years would have thought Donald Trump would attack Taylor Swift. Swifties, y'all need to unite because this is why did he? What, what happened? Crazy. So all Taylor Swift did was she took to her Instagram and she said, "Hey, just like everyone else, I watched the debate. Now I did my own research as a voter. I take it amongst myself to research, watch, and read." everything about their proposed policies and stands for the country. So she endorsed Kamala. Baby, that fucked up Trump. Trump took to his social media, he said, I hate Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Child, that was aggressive. I felt that through the screen. I said, oh, that was so hard. Why would he say that? How are you a 78 year old man? And Donald Trump, 78? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> you go on social media and you tell a girl, I hate you. <laughs> she didn't say nothing bad about you. She didn't do anything. I guess he was at home singing all her songs. <laughs> and that's Donald like Trump just turned 78 in June. This nigga was born in 1946 being childish like this. <laughs> Favorite celebrity? Saying fuck you. And that damn wife. Joe Biden is 81. Leave Joe alone. <laughs> Time for Joe to go sit, okay? You on Instagram. <laughs> he probably liked Taylor Swift and he at home to him. You know how you do this little dance girl that she, she done blocked him. <laughs> now he is sick. Because how you hate somebody that you supposed to be, you supposed to be leading. You're the, the president. Because if that would have been Obama telling a little white girl, I hate you. Every black person in, in this world would have had to pack it though. Okay. And get out of here. And now that's why somebody was hiding in the bushes at his golf course. One of them Swifties came over there trying to kill him. You know, Swifties is crazy. Y'all know these, no offense, these white folks will shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, okay. Trump. Nah, they will, though. They're already doing this other crazy stuff. I ain't gonna say it because I don't want to joke about that because there's nothing to joke about, but y'all know where I'm going with it. They will shoot you. And you over there trying to talk about Swift, boy. Right? You got me fighting. No, man, I'm gonna fight a fire. You lost all your pumpkin spice votes. I never would have thought I would see white on white crime from Trump, but he sure did do that. Taylor's, you all white? <laughs> 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 you got it. You're gonna set up. Oh. All right, thanks to Jesus. If it ain't about me, let's get it. Okay. Next on the docket, we got Jessica and Reed. Oh, now baby, this right here took me for a loop because I am gagging. Now, if y'all don't remember, a while back, Jessica moved up to where Reed lived, moved in with him, just for him to say that he didn't want to be with her. To let this girl drive 40, 40 hours back home crying 40. for us. Then for you just to fly back down here <laughs> to be with her. And that you think we supposed to be okay with that? Oh, we got some shit to say. Now, I don't know if y'all don't remember. Remember when he wrote this whole story right here? Let me tell you what it said. Because some of y'all probably forgot. Because y'all like, oh, they're back together. They can be together. Whatever other like, Fuck that. This nigga said he tried to leave this girl's. Several times. He tried to leave her several 
Borough Times, but he was convinced by her to stay when he didn't even want to stay. This man didn't even want to be with her. Crazy. He didn't want to be with her. He said before you knew it, she came up that's supposed to just be staying for reasons we can't know. He found himself letting her move in and he didn't know how the stuff got there. They just living together. Bitch, you know the fuck what? And then I guess after it didn't work three fucking times, she finally said, well, I guess things are for a reason or for a season and whatever it may be, we prayed before I went on my own way. Bitch, you mean to tell me that 40 hour drive did not no sense to you? That Baby. man got you the fuck up out <clears> here <throat> because you was invading his face and he wanted to get the fuck gone. In 20 minutes, I would have been like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm about to drive 40 hours. First of all, I'm going to let y'all know something right now. Unless I really, 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 really just have to. I'm not driving 40 hours nowhere. I would have had to figure out how to make it. Oh, he didn't need you no more, sis. I wouldn't make and it you asked 40 me, hours. I was sitting here saying it wasn't nobody I just on feel the like other driving. Side. That nigga had another girl, baby. He had another girl, baby. And the grass just wasn't greener on the other side. It died out and he came back to your half ass because he knew you would take him back. Stupid. You know the fuck what. And then he gonna talk about some. I had to fly across country to get somebody some orange juice. Nigga, why the fuck your ass didn't drive 40 damn hours? You sure did get on that plane, fool. Because he's smart enough to get on a damn plane. Oh, I'm not driving. Man, hell no. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't do it. And then some of his clothes is in there. So now you gonna do what she did to you. Now you finna move in with her. Because I guess you ain't got no place up there no more. Wow. What all that? So people started seeing stuff in her background. The same TV. They posted this. She reposted that. So obviously they back together. Rudy's over here upset. Talking about his girl got took again. And funny Mike laughing about it. Girl, uh, ruin it. You dodged a bullet. That man finna use this girl again. Watch what I tell you. She finna be crying. Don't come crying to us, baby. Don't come crying to us. Then she wanna post up all this stupid bullshit talking about some, oh, um, I don't know why y'all talking about her because if my ex can't eat that. Girl, shut up. You just trying to find shit to make it seem like you motherfucking right. And bitch, you ain't goddamn right. <laughs> you stupid. That man don't love you. He told you three times that then he didn't love you. What the fuck, Trace, now? Because his money ran slim? Look at him. He looked malnutritious and hungry. And you end up in a feed him. You was doing so good. It's always when you women find yourself always. and you do good. These always. men want to mosey their ass back in your life and fuck it up again. I was send his ass right on back to um where he came from. And y'all let him. That's why your sisters is mad and people mad at your sisters for being upset with you. Your sister done drove all the way up there to help you get your shit together and bring you back home. That's your family. Some people say the sister should have came to the internet and said shit. That's my motherfucking sister. And if I'm upset with my sister and I see my sister doing some wrong shit, I'm going to say shit to my sister public. I the fuck not. That's like a slap in my face. You should have just kept your ass up there. Don't call me. The fuck you call me for just to get this nigga back up in your shit? Don't call me. And then if the sister would have been there for her, y'all would have been like, where your sister at? Oh, your sister don't give a fuck. Bitch, fuck all y'all. Why you like a nail, sir? What what changed, Reed? Why you like a nail? She's still the same girl. She ain't in a niche. Now she got her own home. Oh. He finna use that girl. If it ain't about me, don't come crying to us when he leave you again. Goofy. <laughs> Next case. Okay. Next to the docket, we got Shannon Sharp. <laughs> now, <laughs> as we all know, Shannon Sharp, <laughs> Shannon Sharp took to his Instagram live on mistake, so we say, and some activities were taking place. Now, I did not see this beginning part. It's almost like the nigga wiped the phone off. <laughs> yeah, but that, that shit ain't about to get my channel. Okay. Because the streak was tired. 
<laughs> the streets was talking on. I ain't the one to judge because, hey, I I do my due diligence. You know what I'm saying? I do my shit with the niggas. But they were saying, you was with the niggas. So for you to say, Michelle, nigga, I salute you, uh, Shannon. It's like you was butt naked with black socks on, baby. Uh, okay. Was getting that work. No. I'm talking about they was doing what it, what it needed to be done that day. You know just what I like, Michelle. My thing was, <laughs> I'm like, what you embarrassed for? You was respectful while doing it. You, you like that right there, Michelle? Is it okay if I do it right there? You know what I like. Oh, you know what I like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Michelle. You go, you all right, Michelle? Is it okay if I come, Michelle? Okay. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, respectful ass in the bed. You like that right there, Michelle? That ain't too hard for you as a baby. All right. You know what I like. You know what I like. <laughs> Is it all right if I come? Hear yeah, that? Oh, polite in the bed, butt but booty naked in the middle of the afternoon. Have an ass nigga. <laughs> I be naked. <laughs> Aunt was doing that thing, you hear me? Talk me through it, Aunt. Rocking out the bulls all night long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you say? It's me, you, this. I'm sharp. <laughs> Obviously, I, I'm embarrassed. I'm very disappointed in myself. For what? Um, not for the act. But well, all I can say is I appreciate his honesty. He said, I am sorry, but I am not sorry for the act. <laughs> Hello, get your nuts. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Because, baby, I, if I feel like doing it at 2 in the p.m., baby, I'm going to get it done. All right. I don't have to apologize to y'all for that. I was getting some. And you could tell he needed to. You know what I like. He probably been busy all week waiting on that one. Okay? Baby, getting it in where he fit in at. And girl, she was moaning for dear life. She, uh, she don't care nothing about being polite. Whatever he was doing, she was enjoying that. Okay? Fuck these people. They be fucking too. Shit, but I ain't gonna lie. What Rick Ross said, that's what I saw too. I think you was trying to do your big one, record it for your own pleasure, and bitch, you in. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you in a. Oh! <laughs> now that makes sense. He was trying to get his own little recording right quicker, what he, what he was doing. Mmm. Okay. Probably listen to it later, like, boy, I'll be that thing. Never know what somebody listening to on their AirPod till you interrupt them. Yo, hey, hey, hey. What going on? I was just going to ask if you seen ghosts today. I, I wasn't necessarily asking anything crazy. Uh, what you looking at in your phone? You all right? <laughs> hey, hold on, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Think of me Be on that motherfucker like I was tearing that motherfucker up boy. Then you just getting a trans and shit <laughs> Hey Shannon 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 yeah, yeah, hey. <laughs> Nigga be like Don't you knock <laughs> Have you ever heard a knock <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Woo! Child, I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Oh, Instagram. Shannon Sharp, now. We forgive you because we know you all know how to work that technology. You was vibing with your little Sean last night. You were trying to film it. And when you tried to sit that down on that little dresser, that mother went live. <laughs> <laughs> But Shannon, I mean, if I have to play devil's advocate, you said you don't know how to work technology. <laughs> but sir, you got a whole podcast. <laughs> you got a whole podcast. Shannon, just, you know, just say. Shannon, you get on that computer every day. And I don't think you be getting no help with that. Every day, 
You and uh, I forgot his name. Oh, Ocho go live every day. Mm-hmm. Y'all know what you knew what the fuck you were doing. You knew exactly what you were doing, Shanna. But it's all right. Get it in. Do what you need to do. I mean, respectfully too. <laughs> it was <clears throat> probably like, baby, you heard Shannon. You heard Shannon earlier doing, uh, you know, grown man. Yeah, I heard him back. I was just wondering, do you think I, I, I'm rude to you when we be doing it? You know what I'm saying? Like, should I say your name and ask you, tell you, you know what I like? You know, instead of calling you like, be my little hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> would you like it better if I, I I say your name? You know what I'm saying? And, and be respectful, so to speak, because I just I felt like he was respectful. <laughs> Everybody changed their whole and mood. All these day. people calling you a sugar foot. <laughs> and it is what it is. Because, man, let me say something. This little thing right here, I done threw this thing every which way. Okay. <laughs> Literally. I done threw this, I done threw this thing every which way. But it sure ain't thrown no lie. Okay. <laughs> Nigga, you is something else. You, you can barely what have a way? conversation. You know how you fuck around and <clears throat> be on on your phone in your pocket, and then you mad at somebody. You fuck around, be talking about them, and then call them. <laughs> be like, yeah, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, stupid as fuck. Just left them too. Stupid as hell, boy. I'm trying. I'm trying to take. But cut. Let me tell you what happened. So we just, you know what I'm saying? Chilling and this bum ass nigga. You know, I'm going in on the nigga. <laughs> And you look at your phone, and you've been on the phone for 15 minutes talking about the nigga that you called. <laughs> Hell no. Niggas done slipped up and sent text messages to me talking about me. Hold on. Oh, that's how you feel. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all, I'll be like, hold on, check your phone. Let me see. Okay, look, first of all, who you talking to? You know what I'm saying? I invited you over to my motherfucking house, baby, and I was just trying to give you great hospitality or whatever, and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all better check that phone first. Prove that you are into <laughs> women, okay? <laughs> Father. All right, uh, Michelle, where you at in all this? We ain't heard... <laughs> We ain't heard from you, sis. Girl, this shit is staged. They did this, this. I can stop calling that man gay. He said, look, I'm tired of this bullshit. Let's make up something. <laughs> there was never no Michelle. <laughs> okay, Michelle was just a paid actress <laughs> to sit there and hone I screenshotted me and my man messages. Thought I was sending it to my friend. <laughs> Thought I was sending my friend a message. It was, he's so damn stupid. <laughs> And it'd be petty, like something you could have said to something I will say. Because one thing about it, two things for sure. Whatever I said to your face, I will say to that person, I'm trying not to let them hear. I need to speak to you first to, to, to check my temperature on how I'm saying it. Oh, but I'm still going to tell you. Okay. You just caught me at a bad time because now I done included some extra shit that didn't necessarily have to be included. Instead of me saying, bitch, hold on, I'm going to say, listen, can we just talk first? Okay? I'm trying to come at you respectfully. But see, when I was talking to my friend, this stupid ass bitch, now I got to figure out how to, how to come at her in a way that uh, uh, she could respond correctly and speak back to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, oh, but I'm going to tell you, regardless, okay? I'm just trying to be nice. Moan and groan. If it ain't about me, let's kick in this case. Next on the docket, we have Ray J and Princess. He recorded himself during an incident after him and Princess got in an argument with him and the children. I just want to make sure you are you good? Dad, I never did nothing to anybody, right? Mama never did nothing to me. Dad, I never did nothing to Mama, right? Everything's everything is safe. Have we not have we have Dad? I put hands on Mama, or Mama put hands on Dad? No, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's no reason to call the police, right? Isn't this a movie? We're just making a movie. We're just playing, okay? Mama, can we go to your house? 
we can go to my house, but I just want to make sure everything is safe here with Melody and everybody. But can we go to my house first? can we go to your house right now? Go get you a sweater. Go get a sweater and we'll go. But nothing, nothing crazy has happened. I got it all on tape. All right, so let's get you some, let's put on your shoes. I got to leave, baby. I don't want, I don't want anything that. The mamas was really upset about this. Y'all were so upset. Can y'all tell me why? Everything's okay. I just want to make sure everything is safe. I love your mom. Your mom loves me. No, I love your mom. Your mom loves me as Oh, he's lying. I just want to keep it. Like he trying to convince them to lie too or something? Well, he said, Mama never put her hands on me. Dad, Dad never put his hands on her. Mm, almost like coaching them, huh? It documented that nothing is okay, happening okay. and that we're all, we are, we both respect each other and love each other. This was just a pretend thing, okay? We just had an argument, okay? I don't want it to get out of hand and I wanted to make sure it's recorded and seen so we were all super safe just because somebody has a disagreement doesn't mean anything you know um calling the police over a disagreement is loud and i'm not with that okay mm. i love you your mom yeah the kids you. wanted to go with mom. him go check on her one more time tell her you're going with dada go with, do it one more time and tell her you're going with dada you have to one more time so she knows you're going with me okay that's the right thing to do huh we're just going. I feel like sometimes men do this to protect themselves too. Don't make your mom happy. I got a, give, I her, give her a hug. She's not, do you think she's gonna take my hug? <coughs> go ask your mom, will she take that as hug? No. Go ask her. No, you have to go ask her. I don't wanna be in dangerous like area, okay? Go ask, go ask your mom real quick, okay? Hey baby boy. I think she was the one swinging on him. She said leave who alone. She told you to leave her alone? Mm -hmm. Did she give you a hug? Mm -hmm. It's okay. She's just mad. She's still a great mom, okay? okay. She loves you. I love you. You can not have to go with us. I don't know if I can want to go with us. I'll stay here. I just don't want somebody to call the police on me for me not doing nothing. Like we're just having a conversation. My huh, baby? Yeah, I feel like he was trying to protect himself. I ain't gonna lie. Huh? Now, I ain't saying he don't be putting hands on us, not what I'm saying. I, I just think that it's a mutual thing. I think both of them be putting hands on each other is what I think. She wants to take And that day it got a little out of hand. My hug? Uh -huh. Okay. Then everything's okay? This was giving training and talking the kids through what you want them to say if the police pop up or anybody ask about the situation. Now, you got people on each side of the fence. Some people are saying that he was the aggressor, then you got other people saying that Princess was the aggressor. Because if you listen to the video, the kids are crying, so they want to go with daddy. But I've been around a lot of situations where sometimes, even when the daddy is the aggressor and he getting ready to walk out the house, they will cry and say, I want to go with daddy because children don't know. They just still love their mama and their daddy. So whatever the case may be, I just hope the kids are safe and these two would just leave each other alone. So then Princess comes to social media. She says, this is the only time I'm going to address this. She's like, she has videos too, but she's saving her videos for the judge. I've been trying my best to be the bigger person and walk away peacefully. But what you're not going to do is traumatize, manipulate, and gaslight my children. But if we going to call a spade a spade, when y'all was on TV trying to push you in that pool, you should have left them. But I guess you did because you knew you tried to push him and threw that drink on him too. So girl. See, that's all I'm saying. Both of y'all really toxic if you ask me. And stop I just feel as though if a woman is being just as aggressive as a man, then it's an even playing field. Clearly until he just hauled off and punch your ass in the face. But that's a little different. <clears throat> but what I'm saying is you throwing shit, he throwing shit. Um... He push you, you push him, or, or you push him. Some women be slapping the hell out of dudes, and some women really be out here whooping niggas' asses and expecting them to be like, chill out, bro. Man, chill out. Don't do that dude stuff, bro. Oh, he beat your ass. To the point where he do. 
Then you cry wolf. No. Stop putting your kids in grown folk business. And I agree with that. And also stop putting y'all hands on these niggas. And niggas, stop putting y'all hands on these women. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. If it ain't about me, let's keep in this case. Next up, we, we got Jay Cinco and Bella. But child, y'all made that man break up with that girl. After all them damn comments, y'all saying she look old like his mama, his auntie, and all this other stuff. And he was trying to force y'all, oh no, I love her. And she's not using me. And woo woo woo, yada yada yada. Child, he done broke up with this girl. But the gag is, I feel he never really healed off Brooklyn. He really just got into another relationship, same way she did. Everybody just keep, just, nobody want to take time for themselves and get themselves together. Y'all can, y'all be so afraid to be alone. Be alone. You got time. Single. And I don't, like, you know, like, I don't really know. I don't know how to feel for real. Like, I don't want to, like, wanna really, you know what I'm saying, get on here like that, you know. And I hate that I had to get on here and, you know, say this for real. But at the end of the day, it's not like nobody cheated or anything. Like, I didn't cheat on her. She didn't cheat on me. She ain't be this loyal. Like, it has nothing to do with loyalty. It was just a lot, you know. It was just a lot on my career. It was a lot on her, you know, just on what she has going on. And what she's trying to accomplish, it just became a lot, you know. And, you know, me and her are true believers in God. You feel me? We feel like if, if it's meant, <clears throat> it's, it's meant, you know what I'm saying? We, we don't got to, like, force it. You know, it's just, you know, just sometimes life is too damn clingy with each other. <clears throat> you get a lot. Life could be just life. Life would just take its courses, man. And sometimes it's a be scared to, to take that that time, you know, like, or separate to figure things out. And I was scared to kind of make that decision. But I felt like like well, we were scared to make that decision. But I felt like it just, you know, at the end of the day, it just was best. You know, at the end of the day, we want to just give each other 100 percent and stuff. You know, I don't really want to go too deep into it, you know, because it ain't really like, you know, nobody's business. Just more of the story, I still want to let y'all understand because I don't want to be like, oh, I told you she was this, this, that, or I told, you know what I'm saying? Like, it has nothing to do with disloyalty, bro. It was just, you know, just life, bro. You feel me? It's just life, bro. I truly do feel like she is the one for it. I still feel like that, you know? And, you know, now I don't know delusions. I just know me and her bond was, you know, different, man. Just being a honey. Girl, shut the fuck. <laughs> I'm starting to think he the problem. He is the problem. Y'all, because did y'all not hear when he said she was mature about the situation? That means this was his choice. This was his choice to move on and go their separate ways to focus on their careers. Because then y'all know y'all had careers before y'all got together. It's Definitely. because you was just out your relationship. You was going around searching for love because you didn't want to be single. Men be wanting affection and attention too. Mm -hmm. There are some men who are afraid to be lonely. And that girl was there comforting him. She was keeping his mind off of Brooklyn, whatever the case may be. And therefore, he had to focus on her. And then you focus on this girl. Now, this girl was starting to fall deeply in love with you. You really ain't ready because you don't want to fuck up because you're not known as a cheater. It's always your winning. So what do you do? You escape before you can make something bad happen, but you make it sound good. Oh, we pray together. We believe in God and this and that. Bro, I feel like, you know, you always pray and I pray a lot every day and shit like that. Fact. And if you pray every time and you speak to God, he's going to speak to you. Yeah, and fact. Like and, and we that's one thing we've been praying over this for. Yeah, so I feel like he's going to put you on the right path and everything happens for a reason. As long as you four, stay four, right four, and check. you stay focused and you just, you listen, bro, you're going to be straight, bro. And I feel like, honestly, bro, you, it's time, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, respect to her and stuff, but it's your grind time. These are grind years. You're only like 22, right? Yeah. So it's like, you gotta figure this out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta yeah. grind. You don't wanna be, be, you don't wanna be like so caught up with somebody and into 100% into somebody. And then something happens when you're like 28 or 29. And yeah, then you're yeah. in. Damn, he 22. How old is Brooklyn? 20. In this Great. slump. And yeah. then you're like, damn, like, all them years I done had, yeah. not they didn't go to waste, but they could have went to something else in yeah. the 28, 29 years. That could have been, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You're settling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, facts, yeah. like, but everything is going to happen. It ain't like, you know, them bad breakups. It was just like, a, you know, we love each other, and shit, but, you know, we just got to do what's best for our careers. You feel me? As far as like, you know, it's, we young and shit, so it's just like, you know, we stand in touch and shit, but, you know, we just. That's, I mean, I feel that like. Yeah, because I know, we, remember we talked about this the other day, like, just like, you know, what got going on in life and shit, you feel me? Yeah. So I was like, man. How do you feel about that? I mean, I, I feel like I feel like it was a I feel like it was a great decision that had to happen, 
it just we none of us really wanted to make that call. You feel me? Like it was like a, you know like one of the decisions where you like you know what's best, but you like you love too you. I, Love each other too much, y'all don't want to do that. Yeah. But I feel like, you feel me? I feel like time will tell, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, even whether it's two, three months from now, you know, at the end of the day, I know, like, I'm grateful for her because she's she not being selfish, you know what I'm saying? Like, we yeah. had a conversation. It was like, you know, like, nah, I feel like, you feel me? We both trying to get somewhere in life, and this may not be the best time to make, try to make this work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we got stuff and we really got to Time is everything. Well, if y'all better stop making my God seem like he weak. And that's what y'all doing. You say, oh, we believe in God, we pray to God, but sometimes, you know, life happens and life lies and you get scared of stuff. Not with my God, you don't. I hate when men sit here and say, oh my God, she's the one and I'm in love with her. <laughs> she's just so bone we have. Friend, not these celebrities and YouTubers fall in love. <laughs> and five to ten business days. I mean, five to seven. Friend, you ain't never lied. You ain't never lied. And especially the men. I'm like, goddamn girl, come over there, cook a little breakfast, suck your dick up a little bit, and goddamn, you ready to marry her. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, well, if she's the one and you in love with her, why the fuck you letting her go? What? You got me fucked up, bitch. That's mine. That's my man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Girl, please. She the one. But we just got our careers going on. We still young. Nigga, you knew you was fucking young before you even got with the girl. And you really ain't even fucking young. You a, you an adult, nigga. <laughs> talking, talking about we... we. <laughs> you an adult, to make excuses, nigga. Trying to make it seem like it's just so clean. Nah, no, bitch, you're just Yo, not stop. ready. And you do that and you toxic and you play with my time when you should have just stayed the fuck single. That's what you should have fucking did. Let's just keep it real. The fuck? You, I'm the one, but you want to let me go. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? And if y'all supposed to be so much into God and all this other stuff, then you supposed to have faith. God, build this relationship. Make us work together. Help us understand I'm going to have time here. She going to have time here. Keep us communicating. Keep our bond tight. Oh, he'll make it work, baby. He'll make it work when you want to make it work too, but you obviously want to make it work and your best thing was to run out the back door because you was so scared of life. So that's what y'all gonna do when y'all get older and get married. Things happen. Life always happens. So when you get married and shit get a little rocky, what you gonna do? Oh, let's take our time because I know you're the one, but I gotta make sure I'm okay. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Nah. <laughs> Girl, Miss Bella, go. Go as fast as you can and don't look back. Go. And then look at Brooklyn. I found her look alike that kind of sound and act like goddamn Jay Cinco. Like, I really you should have like, yo, yo I stop. <laughs> appreciate that. Thank you. Look at what you. about me? You look good. No. You look good. Am, like, I, cute? Oh, yeah. Am I cute or what? The same, my man. Like, you are. You can my man, too. <laughs> But yeah, nah, you you look cute. You good. You good. You look good. Come on, let's go, let's go on a date. Come on, Max. Bro, your wallet, please. I ain't gonna lie, she was being a little thirsty thirst. <clears throat> if he found her attractive, he would have said that shit. She shouldn't even said it first. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Oh. Should we get out? Should we leave? <laughs> Should we leave? Yeah, let me talk to her real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it just Max, we don't look good together. First of all, you know that to say. He don't give a fuck. That was cap. How long you in LA for? You see, the first thing he said was the Shay. And to be honest, I don't think the Shay care. I think they care about the connection <clears throat> to the Shay. Okay. So poor Brooklyn ain't going to be able to get a rich streaming nigga because of the brother. How long you want me to be in L.A. for? If it ain't about me, let's kick in this case. All right, you guys, that's all I have for Missy Monday. Make sure you continue to send me the mess. I love you guys so much. Um...
Oh, these folks is just too much of me. It's a whole lot of whole lot of going on. Okay, I, it's actually way more than that going on. I thought he was gonna talk about it. Oh, he probably not because he got into it with um. Well, he didn't get into it with Messy Maj, but. He said something. Something happened, girl. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.